Responsive web design isn't that new of a concept. Both devices that access the internet becoming smaller, lighter, faster, and more affordable, choosing to design your website responsibly is a smart decision since you only have one website you have to build, update, and manage. Not to mention with Google, Google's Panda Update, the search engine is going to favor responsive sites over others in its listings. In this video, I have prepared five uh, tutorials about responsive web design that I feel are extremely helpful and important for those who wish to design responsibly. The Beginner's Guide to Responsive Design is a great tutorial to look at if you are just starting to scratch the surface of uh, responsive web design. It's very informative and it isn't overwhelming. Now you can find this tutorial at blog.teamtreehouse.com slash beginner's guide to responsive design. And it's also uh, a really great uh, responsive design website itself. So definitely go ahead and check it out. The second uh, tutorial I have for you is five useful CSS tricks for responsive design. CSS, CSS3 and media queries is what makes responsive web design possible. This tutorial walks you through the minimum and max width for designing a website as well as relative values. Check it out at webdesignerwall.com slash tutorials slash five useful CSS tricks for responsive design. That magazine has a great tutorial at building fast responsive websites. Now this tutorial is for those who know a bit more about responsive design than others. It's extensive and pretty in-depth and has a lot of great information about semantics, offline and storage, device access, connectivity, multimedia, 3D graphics and effects, performance and integration, and CSS3. Go to netmagazine.com slash tutorials slash building fast and responsive websites. Keith Clark has a tutorial that will teach you what you need to know about images for responsive design um, and using cookies. It's short, sweet, and to the point, and there's a great conversation going on in the comments uh, where you can get others' perspectives as well. Go ahead and read this tutorial at blog.keithclark.co.uk slash responsive images using cookies. The last tutorial I have for you is again on Net Magazine, but this one is all about using typography in responsive sites. You'll need basic CSS and HTML knowledge to really get the most out of this tutorial, but it's a great piece to help you manage all that great content you have on your website. You can uh, go ahead and take this tutorial at netmagazine.com slash tutorials slash handling typo typography responsive design. If you like this video, definitely check out our blog at responsivewebdesignblog.com. There you can also sign up for our email newsletter where we will send you every week the greatest content, videos, and articles about responsive web design. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us at Twitter at twitter.com forward slash responsive sites. Thanks for watching.